Welcome back to Crystal Clear. I'm Ushrick Vox, and this is likely going to be our final Steve Universe, The Movie Theory. Now this and one or two more videos are going to be pre-recorded due to a last minute business trip. So if anything comes out about the movie not mentioned in our following videos, it's because I'm just not around to cover it. But it's not that long of a trip, don't worry. So should this be our last hurrah until the movie airs? In terms of trying to piece together what happens, how things could unfold, I want to take it back to the very beginning. The focus of most of our theories and the the focus of everything surrounding the movie, the villain. If her name officially comes out after I record this, I'm going to be salty. But when I say take it back to the beginning, I mean the beginning of us learning about the film's existence. The teaser trailer. Keep it in mind. With this new diabolical gem, we're provided with an antagonist unlike any we've seen before, using her own elastic body to combat Steven and the crystal gems, sporting three black lines under her eyes, and coming across as mentally unhinged, playing up the supervillain role as she happily indulges in the mayhem and havoc she's brought onto the earth. She's also the first villain who has the intention and will to kill Steven from the get-go. Jasper wanted to bring Steven to Homeworld, Peridot just wanted to get off the planet, Aquamarine wanted to capture humans, and just saw Steven, or Rose Quartz, as a really nice constellation. As for Eyeball, she just wanted to bring Jasper home before going insane inside a bubble, and seeing the death of Steven as a hot ticket to stardom. But that determination to murder Steven isn't the only thing that leaves us scratching our heads wondering how did things get up to this point. There's also the question of why this gem is so malleable, putting Mr. Fantastic and Elastigirl to shame. Many people assume this is her power, but what if it isn't? What if she's actually nothing special amongst the rest of gem kind? At the bottom line, she has standard gem abilities and a gem weapon, seemingly what we can assume is a scythe as it clashes with Steven in the trailer. Although with its gem destabilization properties, this could just be actual gem technology she invented, and that's what makes this villain dangerous. From what we can make out in a very brief frame in the trailer, it appears as a little heart-shaped gem at the top of the scythe. Just like the top of the giant injector the gem has brought is shaped like a heart, just like her gemstone. Clearly these things were custom tailored, which leads me to believe, although she definitely might have had some help, all these things were invented by her, which means they were designed to be amped up and provide more devastation that only a being like Steven can endure. After all, if her sole mission is to kill Steven, it makes sense that everything she's brought is designed to torture and destroy Steven, a half organic, half gem being, no one else. If this gem has something you would call a special power, I wouldn't say it's her elasticity. I would say it's determination. Because, believe it or not, we have seen her abilities before, just in different ways. Ways where gems were both in and out of control. But if we start with the latter, I would like to call to the stand Amethyst, particularly in the episode An Indirect Kiss, with Amethyst's cracked gem. As we've seen throughout the series, if a gemstone becomes cracked, the gem themselves will begin to glitch out. The longer their damage and the more the crack spreads, the more distorted they become, both in physical appearance and their speech patterns. So as a result, Amethyst began to fall all over the place. Now sure, it was a cracked gem. She had no control, but the fact of the matter is, Amethyst's body began to stretch and elongate in a similar fashion to this new villain. Just because she had no control doesn't mean she wouldn't be able to do this normally. It's just not her desired form. And we saw how weird Amethyst's body can get through the episode reformed and her various reformations. So we can assume this is something common with all gems, especially with Amethyst being overcooked. But it doesn't stop there, as Garnet, with full control over her body, has been able to stretch her arms and grab onto others, mainly Steven, multiple times throughout the series. Not to mention the episode Avengers in Light Distortion, which had Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl adjust to different settings for different cuts of gem, at one point their necks and limbs stretching all over the place, just like the villain. The point is, I'm not convinced Miss Stretchy Stretchy is stretching stretching because it's her special ability, like how Ruby has fire or Sapphire has ice, but because she's focused and honed those natural gem abilities, especially one ability in particular, shape shifting. This takes me back to the first teaser and something I'm still scratching my head about, the imagery. Why have this gemstone constantly flip upside down, right side up? It feels so intentional in your face, as we've come to know with Steven Universe, so that when the movie was released a year later, we would go back to this teaser and have our collective minds blown at
that top tier foreshadowing. Now, now that it has been over a year and the movie is one week away from premiering, let's speculate a bit further on the meaning of this rotating gem. This villain is evidently great at shapeshifting, has an unusually detailed gemstone for someone who's not a diamond, and just from appearance you can tell, this doesn't seem like someone you would just casually see on Homeworld, even glancing at her bio on the movie website. The question is, who is she? Why is she out for revenge? And yes, the name is out there, but that's beyond the point. Whatever identity she spits out to the gems doesn't matter. Because again, if you go back to that teaser, they're clearly hinting at something. Well, where have we seen the rotation of a gemstone before? Oh yeah, with Rose Quartz, aka Pink Diamond. This gem is out for revenge, seemingly targeting everything at Steven and not taking any hostages. We can assume it's about the changes Steven brought to Homeworld in Era 3, along with his association of the name Pink Diamond. Heck, there's even a song in the movie's track list titled Change. But what if this gem decided to take her revenge to the next level, trying to get even with Steven and Pink Diamond? Like, let's sit and think for a moment. How does she plan to even pull this off? Get your sweet revenge, but then what? Well, what if her plan was to go off the grid completely and blend in with the rest of Jim's society, pretending to mourn the death of Steven that she orchestrated and getting away with it? Because she's not really the gem we think she is. What if she's a double identity, a persona, just another Batman, just like Rose Quartz. Assumably, Steven would have to explain to Homeworld what happened with his mom, the true fate of Pink Diamond in the gem war. Give Homeworld the closure they deserve. So bring in this gem, perceiving the full story in her warped mind, she's gonna be furious. All of this was a waste of time, and now we have to abide by all these changes we don't even want, because one diamond said so and created a war? And if you look at it from that, I mean, you, sh you still shouldn't destroy the earth, but like, I could see why someone would be upset. So she goes, use this two year time skip to hone her shapeshifting abilities and pull off something only Pink Diamond was known to do previously, develop a completely new alter ego and do it long enough where she can hold it without having to revert back. As we know, that's a big problem with gems and shapeshifting aside from Pink Diamond because, well, she's a diamond and was able to reform as Rose Quartz full time. That's right. I think Steven Universe the movie, like the show itself, is going to give us many twists within one. You'd think the villain is one person and there's someone else completely. But this would mean that everyone's initial theories on her identity isn't over yet, as her true form could still be a Morganite, fitting in line with the real world pink sweetheart gem, or cubic zirconia, not letting go of that pink diamond 2.0 theory, whatever the case may be. Because I mean, aside from looking cool, which is a valid reason and probably is the actual case, I'm looking too hard into it, why would they have this gemstone rotate upside down? What would they be trying to communicate with us? Why would someone's gemstone just come out upside down and not right side up? It's called right side up for a reason. Though I guess pink diamond's gemstone is upside down naturally. Whoops. Cinematic parallels. But as always, these are just my crazy insane thoughts and I want to hear yours. What do you think? What do you want to happen in Steven Universe the movie? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet your thoughts at RoundTableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Ostrich Vox. We're also on Instagram. Help the Roundtable Girl by either becoming a member of the channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please throw a like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox, signing out. Now.